Are you mechanical and worried about how you're going to use electricity? One of the Sniffy Joe, where they're going against fossil fuels. You're saying, man, how am I going to get this done? Because Sniffy Joe is anti-fossil fuels. And we know for a fact, solar and wind isn't going to be enough. That's just, it's, it's silly to say that. And you're like, huh, but I'm mechanical. I could build something. What should I do? And I might be able to make some money. Yeah, you can. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. You should learn to do build gasifiers for wood gas. If I just talking to a guy either today, or yesterday, a very mechanical guy. Um, you can do fabrication, welding, freaking just all kinds of stuff. I said, man, you should go in the business of uh, making gasifiers and selling them to the public because it's just a huge, huge opportunity there, man. One of my things, whenever I quit my crap old job, <laughs> it's, I'm just. I love my job, but whenever I quit doing this, I want to focus on how to learn how to make a gasifier. That's what I say, but Frank, I'm kind of lazy. I'm not going to lie to you. I probably never do it, uh, but man, I'd love to have a gasifier. I just love to use it. I think it's awesome. So what is a gasifier? So let's go to this right here. It just came across my feed, and I've looked at this before from the Oak Ridge National uh, Laboratory, which is a construction of a simplified wood gas generator for fueling internal combustion engines in a petroleum emergency. I, that's a petroleum emergency. How do you, what do you do in a petroleum emergency? And they talk about the file. This PDF is not, uh, <laughs> this is not very simple, at least to my uh, rookie mind. But check this out. You can go to uh, driveonwood.com, uh, same site, new look, and we got just tons of stuff here. Uh, just newbie reference, the basis of wood gas. What is wood gas anyway? Uh, Steve Unruh is getting a thing. It's uh, uh, wood gas, gasification is running smoke through a hot bed of charcoal. Uh, of course, the devil's in the details. The basics of wood gasification. Ah, it's, just, it's, it's just basically all you're doing. Hey, let me show you my man here, uh, Mr. Tesslonian. This is fantastic. I love this right here. So I think I can show this here. If you own a home, let me show you a little secret I bet you didn't know about. So the side of your house, right. you have a box like say. this. I, uh... Hi, folks. Mr. Tesslonian back here again. Well, as you can tell, I've got everything put back into the truck. We are ready to go. I've got buckets of wood ready here. I'm going to fire it all up on film and just kind of show you how we're doing this. Uh, you see here I've got two buckets full of uh, chopped up wood, and then I've got a box up here with some biochar in there and some starter material. So we're going to go ahead and I'll show you that. Let me walk you around and show you what I've done here. Uh, this tank here right now is about halfway full of biochar. Uh, I put biochar and then a light fluffed up mesh of uh, cedar bark in there on the very top. It's running through there. I'll walk you up to the front filter, show you what we've done in there. Oh, that lid's on there pretty good. Give me a second. That's what you want, though. If it doesn't make a good seal, it's not worth having. All right. So as you can tell, what I've done here is I've put a, another filter on top, so I'm not sucking in pieces of this uh, cedar bark or hay or whatever we're going to use here. I fluffed up that cedar bark, like I said, like this. I think this is actually going to work pretty good as a filter medium. Uh, I've got a little bit of biochar at the very bottom of this, some big chunks of wood like this, and then a bunch of cedar bark on top. This allows me to be able to still suck in the air without having to worry about those pieces getting in there. So let me go ahead and put that lid back on. You can see I've got a little cut out here where it lines up. I'm going to set that on there nice and tight. All right. So there we go. We are ready to go here. Oh, man, this is awesome. I'm going to start up the fire. Uh, hear me show you the uh, front appearance here. It's a little high, but uh, to tell you the truth, that's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to start it up with. Give me just a second here. Uh, get the shot set up in the back of the truck. We'll go from there. All right, folks, so here we are. Well, this is our first layers here. You're going to notice over on this side, what I've got there is a bunch of biochar chunks kind of mixed in there. Maybe you can see that black inside of there. All right, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit here because I want to show you how it works. It's, uh, it's awesome. I love this. Let's see. Let me just uh, all right. pull the plug here. Once I get it started, I'll come out and uh, hold the camera and we'll walk around. Hi, Sam Barker here from The Motley yeah. Fool. You're probably wondering why I'm standing in front of this. Hey, if I can make Mr. Tessalonian some site. money, man, it's more power to him. Around. You can see the smoke coming out of our our fan down there. 
All right, so let's see if we can get this running. Here we go. I'm going to have to go pretty quick on this. So we're going to unplug the fan, pull it out of the way. We're going to spit our plug cap in there, make sure it's good and tight. And we're going to try to start this thing up. Mr. Tem Tesloni is a... Uh... An engineering marvel. Redneck engineering, if there ever was one. All right, so either we're not getting enough air or we're not getting any. Oh, let me shut this all down to draw the smoke to the engine here. That'd help. Obviously, there's no gasoline in it. Okay, we should have some to the engine now. We're going to open this up and see if we can't get this to run. Right, let me pause real quick, and we'll go forward a little bit. Let's see if he does it here. Oh, there you go. Oh, look at that. Oh. Right. Run it again. There you go. Rough. It's running on wood, my friends. Wood. Feels like I'm starving for air. It's still running. Oh. oh, okay, so there it is, folks. We had it started up here. All right, I know this is a long film, but I'm going to try to show you really what it takes here, and this is our original try. Let's try this again. Hopefully our right, battery's starting. Four. Let's try to we switch hands here. There's See second that? gear. He's... Everything in life is a negotiation. When you cross the street is a negotiation. All right, so he's, look at that, he's. Got a little bit of a lag there. On firewood. Yeah, I can that with this. <laughs> uh, oh, listen, the idle, very high. Idle is extremely high. You can hear it, that's much higher than normal. No, look, he's driving around on a freaking wood. All right, I'm going to back up here. How awesome is that? Boy, you can hear it. You can see I'm smoking a little bit. All right. You can see my opening there. All right, so let's go back to it. So what uh, you go on here, you just see all kinds of basics, uh, combustion and drying, oh, start and sky, just so much stuff, man. You can go to the store, uh, let's see, store classifieds. I uh, have wood will travel, complete plans for the Keith uh, gasifier right there, man. I tell you, oh my goodness, buy now. Um, Let's see. Let's see. How much does that sucker cost to buy now? The point being is that if we get a petroleum shortage, you're going to want to have a uh, a way to deal with this, man. You see what I'm saying? And if you know how to do stuff, which I don't, but if you do know how to do stuff, there's tons of videos on gasifiers, too. We got a guy, uh, I've watched this guy a million times right here uh, doing this. This is, yeah, he's got almost 2 million views on this. This is JRM. Hi, YouTube. My right name's there. JR. So, I just built he's running this right here on a just a good old-fashioned generator let's see if we can tear that baby up so basically what i have coming is i ordered i found on amazon a rheostat that'll handle so watch watch this okay, right. Look at that. so i'm going to come over here i'm going to turn off my fan and close that port and this thing That's a generator making electricity. Generating What's electricity. Is the exhaust that comes out of my generator just smells like a campfire. It's kind of funny. So it took me a little while. 
took me a little while to get the uh, oxygen setting. So basically what's happening here is that this guy's running electrical uh, generator for electricity. Mr. Teslonia was running one to run a freaking ga a car, an internal combustion engine. How awesome is that, man? Um, I think I saw some guy on here who was doing uh, how to build a propane. Yeah, right here. Uh, gas fire from propane. Here's Mr. Teslonia again. And we're not going to show the whole thing, but get hopefully he's getting some. Get a real-time bird's-eye view of your projects. Let me just click Create. on some. Ooh, right, well, yeah, click on maybe give him a little bit of revenue here. Um, hold on a sec. Oops. Hi, folks. Mr. Tesalonian here. What we're going to do today is build. All right, so this guy just is, is uh, I love Mr. Tesalonian. He's got so much stuff. Anyway, so, man, if you know how to do all this, man, I tell you, I would, man, I don't know how much these things cost. I'd buy one just like that just to have because it's freaking awesome, man. And so if you have mechanical inclinations, start building these suckers and marketing them. You can't just find a gas fire. Trust me, I've looked. It's been a, while, a couple, eh, probably a year since I've looked. But you can't just buy a gas fire. They're not just out there like, oh, I want a gas fire. Oh, you can, I'm telling you, there's a huge business in there. Anyway, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. So, uh, so more power to you, man. We'll see you guys. Thanks.